While circulating in a well controlled situation, mud gas separator pressure indicator shows that you have lost liquid seal. What immediate action is required? Now, first of all, you need to understand that what is liquid seal? Liquid seal is called this mud lag. The height of mud with its weight that creates an hydrostatic head. Let's say if height is 20 feet and mud weight is 15 ppg, then this column of 20 feet will create a hydrostatic head of 16 psi. So, 16 psi is the seal or liquid seal. So, the design feature or the function of this MGS system is such that uh, this gauge represents the internal or build up pressure of MGS. Now, if the MGS build up pressure is 9 psi, then that 9 psi will fail to pass through this liquid seal. It will not breach 16 psi because 9 psi is less than 16 psi. So, the gas will be vented from the vent line. But the moment if the volume of gas increases in the system, then there will be more and more build up and more and more back pressure on the system. So, if any case, if this pressure or gauge pressure becomes 17 psi, now in this case 17 psi can easily push 16 psi. So, what happens? The gas will pass through drip tube or it will breach the deep tube and the gas will come to shell shaker. So, uh, liquid seal lost means the gas is coming to shell shaker. So, do we need a gas at shell shaker? We never want gas at shell shaker because you never know what kind of gas that comes on the uh, comes from the well bore. It may be H2S, LEL, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, any type of gas is harmful to my crew member because my crew members are already present of the mud tank. So, in this case what I have to do? Now, this is a problem. Any problem during well killing you have to respond to it immediately and there will be first action. So, first action remains same that any problem first action is stop pump shut the well. So, first you have to shut the well. Second, now since there is a contamination of mud in deep tube. I need a pure mud. Only pure mud will give 16 psi hydrostatic head. So, what I have to do is I have to flush this system and make sure that the liquid seal has pure mud and that creates a 16 psi for an example. So, what I have to do is stop pump, shut the well and then replace the mud in liquid seal or replace the mud in mud leg or deep tube with fresh mud, you have to take mud from the suction tank from where the well killing pump is taking suction. So, uh, in this case what will be the right answer? Let us check out all the options. D says continue pumping. So, this is straight away wrong. C next option is stop pumping. This is right. Then open choke. Why you need to open choke? If you open choke, the pressure or back pressure will decrease and will allow more and more influx that comes into well bore. So, this is wrong. Next is continue pumping again wrong. So, right answer is A. Stop pump, shut in the well, re-establish liquid seal by flushing it with a new mud or kill mud and continue operation with the reduced flow rate or with reduced pump rate. 